How can an English speaking test be automatically graded? How is that possible? First of all, we have state of the art patented speech recognition technology. Um, and just as important as the technology, which allows us to understand what the test taker said, is the way we've applied this technology to language proficiency assessments. Now, there are lots of applications of speech, speech recognition technology out there, some of them used in language learning uh, contexts, such as uh, pronunciation, remediation, and so on. But we've taken this uh, core technology, um, and with a proprietary system, we've adapted this for language proficiency assessment, which assesses your speaking skills. It assesses your grammar, uh, your vocabulary, your pronunciation, and your fluency. So how did we do this? Well, we built a prototype test uh, which asks questions and elicits responses from a test taker. And then we gave this test to thousands of people around the world and we administered the test to native speakers uh, of English and to learners of English. So the native speakers of English came from three different continents. And when they responded to our test questions, uh, that data told us how does a native speaker give a perfect answer? Um, what are the range of words they use when they respond? Uh, how fast do they respond? Where do they pause? And so on. And so this um, native speaker data provides a reference model for us. These are the good answers to the questions, or acceptable answers. Uh, and then we have thousands of learners of English from all around the world, um, both genders, different proficiency levels, um, from over 40 different nationalities and many more language backgrounds. Uh, they responded on the same questions and they respond poorly and they respond well and they give us an idea of the range of different ways that uh, learners of English will respond to these items. Uh, and then what we can do is evaluate those responses. They're evaluated by uh, expert judges, uh, raters, and um, we build models which essentially predict how the raters, how the human raters would have evaluated that uh, test response. Um, and we can essentially, by doing this thousands of times, optimize our, our models and predict how a human would evaluate that response for human uh, for pronunciation, fluency, grammar, and vocabulary. Um, now, to go one step deeper, there are uh, three kinds of models that we develop. First of all, with this this rich data from learners of English and native speakers, we develop acoustic models. Um, with all the responses given to us by these test takers, we optimize our speech recognition models to understand the sounds of the language and how they relate to words um, and what consists of good pronunciation and what is poor pronunciation. So we have acoustic models which recognize the sounds of the language and the pronunciation. Uh, we then have language models below that, which is um, how do people respond on a particular item? So if they hear a test question, there may be various numbers of ways in which you can answer it correctly um, and uh, ways in which you can answer it incorrectly before it's completely wrong. Um, and the uh, many different ways that all our test population answered uh, help us build pathways. So people can respond this way and it's a good answer. They can respond this way and it's good but a little, a little poorer. Or they can respond this way and it get, gets worse and so on. So we have the acoustic models, the language models, and then the scoring models, which is where the um, expert judges listen to those responses, evaluate them um, and say, this deserves a high score, this deserves a low score. And with advanced statistical modeling, um, we can predict how the human raters would evaluate that answer. Mm -hmm.